Welcome back, folks, to White Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we are playing Mars Warlogs. So, we are looking here at, uh, let's see. So, this is Innocence's diary, basically. I don't know how Innocence knows all of this stuff, seeing as we haven't spoken to him in quite a while, but, uh, I don't know, maybe Innocence is writing this from the end of the game. Alright, so uh, we were looking at resistance, often considered terrorists, managed to gain a certain amount of support from people and all those who are affected by the political U-turns after the war, but we know that they're not particularly efficient. Each of its citizens bears a virtue name that is supposed to describe them, large number of technomancers as well as the daring and strategic skills of its new dowser wisdom. Wisdom seems fairly decent. Uh, let's see. Do they have honor in here? There we go. Long-serving soldier, war hero, good strategist, loyal to the guild, who's able to reverse the situation during the terrible battle at Green Hope. So thanks to him and his new friend, the new Dowser Wisdom, that Aurora won the war. He's now in charge of the guild's army. He's acting as minister of war. And hopefully they have wisdom in here. No, we don't know wisdom yet. Anyway. Um, after a long amount of consideration, I have decided that I am going to go with the general. It's good to see you again, sir. Have you made a decision about the general's offer? I also decided that I was putting way too much thought into this because, I mean, it's... It's honestly not like the game is super well written. It's charming in its ambition but slacking in execution, I'd say. I hope the General will keep his word. If he does, you can count on me. I'll go to Green Hope with you. Green Noah. Aurora execution, huh? Oh, and Mentor. So somehow I have altered Innocence's personality. Innocent Smith, on your feet, follow me. But go ahead of me, foe. So don't actually follow me. I'll follow you. I've had your friend removed from the source prison. For the time being, the technomancers are unable to do anything to stop me. Good, good. Where is he? I'm taking you to him. I had him transferred here. The Ministry. Of... war? I hope. Innocent Smith. It's me, Roy Temperance. Your buddy! Do you want to go in? No. If I do, he'll hate me. I betrayed his cause, his ideals, and he'll see it right away. I don't you care. You're only fighting back legally and effectively. And you saved his life. I did that. I doubt he'll see things the same way. Even if you fight the Technomancers, you closed your eyes on the deaths of the militia. And that's the only thing that matters to him. You should release him. He doesn't need to know I'm behind it all. I can't release him right now. What do you think his friends would think if they saw him freed? They'd think he'd betrayed him. And they'd kill him. Maybe. You're probably right. But he can't stay here. He's still too close to the Technomancer. Send him to Shade Valley or some other small city. A long way away from all this shit. Alright. Devotion will escort him. Okay. There's nothing more you can do for him now. Ah, one thing. He had this notebook on him when he was arrested. There's a lot about you in it. Here, keep it. I don't want his diary. Is it going to magically auto-update itself from now on? How am I supposed to know about the logs of the war? Come on, game! Where are you taking me? Why wasn't I killed? Please, I need to know. Are you taking me to a war camp? You can say yes no or no. Way. Temperance? Forget it. Enjoy the trip. Was she just checking out his booty there? He doesn't really have one, but it seems like she might have been checking it out. I've read this diary that Innocence kept, which honor is given to me. Everything he went through since he got to camp is in it. His story is moving, even if I realize that maybe I didn't make him hard enough, preparing for what was waiting here. He eh. talked about the people he met, what we did. 
He even wrote whole pages on what I did since he joined the Resistance. How did he know? I knew the Resistance had good sources, but I didn't think he'd hear about me stopping the serial killer. Ooh, side quest. Nor that Mary and Tenacity were with me now. In fact, I was a bit embarrassed to realize that I was the hero of the book. Maybe that's why I feel kind of obliged to keep it going. I'm gonna write about myself. I have to finish this story so he can read it for himself when he comes back from exile. Hmm. So right now he's on a path of exile? I know, it was terrible. So, the agricultural zone. I don't know what this is. Everything looks like shit on Mars, I guess. Bam, 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 bam. Mars, Mars, war logs. There we are. Greenhole. You know, it's not that different from what I've seen in other places. A dusty old hydroponics farm crumbling under the wind and the war. When you think of everyone who died here for this. I was kind of expecting something greener, less desperate, too. Yeah. There was a lot of fighting here during the war. Lots of the buildings were destroyed. It was probably a lot more like you pictured it before. But we didn't have but the resources to do this. Now. General Honor is waiting for us in the western part of the town. Okay. You're surprisingly soft. Why leave your enemies alive? Didn't they attack you? Yeah, well, they're just misguided. Shock you. When I carry out a mission for the general, I have to admit I don't put on the kid gloves. I'm just a bit surprised, that's all. What point is there in killing these people? What, for their serum? I've already beaten them. They're out of it. They won't be in any hurry to attack me again. When you put it that way, I understand better. I figured you would. Quest complete. Blank. Nasty's left. Is devotion? Yeah, okay. So devotion's our partner now. Any garbage for me here? And if there's any garbage up here too. Mm, looks like this area is just kind of blocked off. That's all right. Let's have a chat with devotion. What can I do for you? Let's talk. I wanted to ask you. I was born in Shadow Lair and lived there most of my life. Even if since the war, I've been doing a bit of traveling, of course. Have knife, will travel. Of Aurora. What about you? I was born in Shadow Lair too. I basically grew up at the source and then ran away as soon as I could. I see. How'd you start working for the general? You're really young. I crossed paths with the general when I was about 10. Took me on as a messenger and as I got older, he gave me more and more things to do. Hopefully not including him. Are you and he... lovers? No, we never have been. The General has always been very respectful. But why are you asking? Just wanted to know more about the General. I was wondering if you and him... I mean, if you were single. It's not what I meant to push, but this is funny enough I've anyway. We had a lot of time for relationships, unfortunately. What about you? All the women in my lap be crazy. No, since I escaped, I uh, haven't really had time for that like you. I understand. And being alone isn't always easy. But let's talk about something else. Okay. You said the general took you under his wing when you were really young. Don't you have a family? My parents died when I was around 10. Just after my brother disappeared. I'm an orphan. Great. I see. I'm sorry. We should change the subject. I wanted to ask you... You've known the General for ages. What can you tell me about him? He's an excellent strategist and a soldier at heart. Sometimes he's real strict, even hard. But he's always thinking about Aurora. He defends the Gale like he was his mother, and I defend him. Why do you defend him like that? What ties you to him? 
Even though he's not always been that warm with me, he raised me since I was 10. And that's a good enough reason in my eyes. And he's a man who generates loyalty. Hmm. What do you think about the Resistance's cause? They're agitators. They only want chaos. The guild is already teetering, and without a general, it would have fallen already. Sure, they're not as dangerous as the Technomancers, but they raise havoc, which is something we don't need right now. And you're a unique person, Devotion. Beautiful and uh, terrifying. Why are you telling me that? Do you like me? Well, it's just in the game dialogue. Yeah, I like you a lot. Does that upset you? Does that upset no, you? He says smoothly. I, I'm not really used to that kind of thing. I like you too, but I don't think we should be talking about that here, do you? Do you know this place well? I came here with the general during the war. It's one of the most productive hydroponic sites in the region. I mean, it was. The war did a lot of damage to the installations, but it's still a key place for a guild. If it were restored, it'd be an incredible source of wealth. Okay. Finally. What do you think about the Technomancers? It seems difficult to generalize with you. But most of the ones I've met are unstable, egotistical, and hungry for power. But of course, I understand that with the training you get, and the gift that makes you different, it's gotta change the way you act. Alright. You think I'm like them? No. Probably because you left the source. Or maybe I left the source because I wasn't like them. True. I didn't look at it that way. Sorry if I insulted you. That's fine. I wanted to tell you something else. Alright. Let's move along. We know more about devotion now. She seems pretty cool. Certainly cooler than Mary. She doesn't seem to be a technomancer. So sorry, Siberian. I know that you prefer it when I have a Technomancer in the party, but we can only have one person in the party at a time, and right now it seems to be Devotion. Also, I think Mary might be the worst actor in the game. Let's see, I wonder if we can even go up here. Probably not, so tell me it's blocked. blocked for the moment. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna go keep looking for some garbage to rifle through, maybe a merchant. To sell us the new hotness, because I could go for some of the new hotness right now. But it does not look like that is going to happen. It's more serum though, that's nice. I'm always happy about that. You know, it's you can use it to buy stuff and craft things. Which is one of the many nice things about this game. The combat's fun, if kinda repetitive. I wish they'd had more ways to make it like a challenge or more exciting, but what I like about the combat is that it's never f taken for granted that you're going to win a fight. Every fight you can conceivably die, and we've seen that. It's not like I'm bad at this combat system. I think I'm pretty good at it. We even got a bit of parrying down at this point, but uh, you know, you make a wrong step, you approach the situation in the wrong way, and you're dead. And that's that. Bloody and I like that about this game. Fucking slackers! They should never be left wandering around the village anyway. Gotta leash train them. That is a tortured name. Maybe we should have mentioned we wanted tamed mutants. Not a bunch of wild beasts or damn robbers. That guy's not impartial at all. Kill them! That's all they deserve. Bloody vermin. Fucking slackers! Hi. Sorry, but it's not exactly a good day for us. I hadn't noticed! What's going on? Those bloody mutants stole some of our food. Not like we produce much anyway. It's going to make things like those guys really in the background hard. just intensely staring at each other. To get put down, damn animals. As if they didn't have enough with what we give them. I sincerely doubt that they have enough. I can go see them, work this thing out. That would be great. 
We need to get back what they stole and punish them. I will do I one of those things. But, uh, if you could avoid killing them, just teach them a lesson. Mm hmm. I got a bit carried away earlier. But we need the labor. You're an awful person. I don't understand why this guy can't deal with his mutants himself. He's responsible for them, after all. Because he'd screw it up. I'll do my best. Yes? You want something? I want lots of things. What can you tell me about the mutants here? The, they still complain, but we're used to it. It's true, we should maybe give them a little bit more food. They do good work when they want. I yeah, can't imagine like why they cow. wouldn't want to. If you want it to work well and give you milk, you've got to feed it. That's but there's horrible. Guys here who don't particularly like the mutants. You have a terrible attitude towards them as well. You know that the crops were destroyed? But slightly better than impartiality? It. The moles apparently. Uh. That's a weird story. Moles just don't go into human structures. Ah, intrigue. You have to smell the water, see? And here, all the water from the crops is recovered in small canals just below the surface. They shouldn't be able to smell it. Interesting. I gotta go. Bye. I'm done here. Any more crap for me here? There's a thing. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna kill a bunch of mutants just because some douchebag asked me to. I mean, that should be a foregone conclusion at this point in the game. Um, ooh, a merchant. I like that. And garbage. I also like that. Okay, and do you want to talk? You're not a farmer. No, you it's noticed. Cool. That a problem? Not at all. Takes all kinds. Well, maybe you'd be ready to help me. I do love side quests. Well, what's wrong? But since I've been here, things have been getting worse and worse. I'm supposed to replant all the crops, but everything's been destroyed by the molds. It's impossible to grow anything. So, we're short of everything. But we should already have our first harvest since we got here. But nobody's doing a thing. They're too scared. Hmm. It's pretty basic, but I'll help you. Oh, garbage Thank behind you. me. That's real good of you. Got to say, there aren't really any guards here to help us. There's a wide variety of accents in this game. I'll mark it on your map if you like. There. Thanks. More for you to tell me. As far as I'm concerned, things are at a standstill. Might not okay. be the best subject. You've been here a long time? Well, not really. I got here when our troops left, after the war. We were sent out here to rebuild, to make the farm productive. Alright. I gotta go. See ya. Fair enough. And whatevs. So that's up there. I'm gonna go and talk to this, uh, merchant, though. I'm guessing this is the one. Hey, a new face. On your way to rebuild the farm? Need equipment? Oh yeah, I need... Equipment. Any interesting rumors? Bah! A really important group of Technomancers showed up here not too long ago. But maybe you already knew that. They're doing something around a work site. Nobody knows too much about what they're doing out there, but we hear noises. They're digging. People are wondering what they're looking for. Alright. Show me what you have. With... Show me the stuff. Iron bar, copper tube, steel bar is the next step up, I guess. Not much of a step up, but, I mean, it's there. Uh, workers, technician's outfit. Looks like that's an... wow, it looks like something we wore a long time ago. And this stuff, and this stuff. Alright, well... I mean, I'm going to be honest. The leather uniform is negative 15 and 10. This one's negative 15, 0, and plus 25 max health. The worker's outfit is still better than the technician's outfit? 
I don't get this game. It's got some weird stuff going on. Anyway, I think for now, I'm just going to buy a new weapon. I'll get like 10 more of these at some point, I'm sure. But I'd like to just have it, because then I'll have it. That'll be five points. Okay, and... Got that inventory, why are you... Put that on. And... Activate that. We're going to see what we can put in here. Gears of War, War Axe, Razor Head, so same... All the same stuff. All the same stuff as before. Pinhead, Bone Axe, 15. All right, uh, let's try this with charged weapon damage. Let's try something new. Superconductor, don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. So Bone Guard's still our best choice there. Yeah, so this is a better weapon in terms of its damage, slightly, but only slightly. All right. Where to then? Now let's check out what's up at the end of this alleyway here because I'm gonna guess garbage. There we go. Hardware, as it were. Anything up here? Yes! Lovely! Okay. So I got a couple of side quests. Now you know how much I like doing side quests before the main story because how paranoid I get that the main story is going to cut me off from doing side quests. So I'm going to go out to the hydroponic fields, get my ass kicked by moles, come limping back to get uh, new armor that looks really bad. Like There are really only three types of armor in this game in terms of their visual looks. And, I mean, I know it's low budget, but still, it's noticeable. Alright. Work site is down there. Goes back to the village. That's weird. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's go out to the farms and uh, do all those things that I was just talking about. I'm sure it's going to be a rip roar in good time. Oh! Oh dear. Alright, we need to deal with the trash first. Ow. This guy's a jerk. Oh my god, this guy's the biggest jerk. Remember what I told you about how we were going to be dealing with this guy? And then how every fight has danger in it? I really want this guy to stop being Super Mario on me here. I can go shot for shot for you, big boy. Yeah, that's right. You wanna go shot for shot? We can do that. I was not expecting to win that fight. 
I used both of those new fluid injections, though. You did, a, you did a pretty good job there, Devotion. You didn't die. You could have died, but you didn't. Like, there were a lot of these dudes here. That's what I'm talking about, about the variety of, of dangers. Like, all that really happens is that they throw more enemies at you. Or they combine a couple different types of enemy. But it's all fairly standard stuff. So I think it could be... I mean, I think that this combat system could be graft, grafted on to a better game. You guys were just standing here? Shit, we can't stay here. They'll see us. Calm down. Try to look relaxed. Joe will be back soon. He'll tell us how many guys there are inside, and then we can go. What? These people are acting strangely. I should tell the general. Hurry up. It's never a good idea to make him wait. Okay. Can I go through here? No? All right. Well, we've done a good job out here. Side quests. Go to honor. Speak in private with Mary. Well, she's not here. Oh, she's at Honor's camp. Okay. Go back to see Tolerance. Find the instruments for the theft in the industrial complex. Well, let's go do that then. I could definitely use that extra 25 HP from the new armor, but I'm going to hold out and see if it's the reward for one of these side quests. Because if it is, that would be pretty nice. Beware! Killing a human will lead you onto a dark path. It will lead you down to a dark place. So, any news? Yeah, I killed the moles that were infesting your fields. You can go back to work. <sighs> thank you so much. And not just for me. The whole village thanks you. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. He's just disappeared. All right. 20 serum, experience, no worker's clothing or technician's... Ooh, technician's clothing. Alright, so it's over this away that we need to go in order to speak to the general, I believe. Yep, this is the way. This is the way we speak to the general, speak to the general, speak to the general. This is the small side path where you get a health injection pack all the live long day. Are you going to get out of my way, Devotion? Please get out of my way, Devotion. I don't want to be stuck here forever. Can I order her to go to a, go to a place? gonna keep standing there? Will you move if I go there? There we go. I was gonna have to ask her to leave the party. Slit the party up as it were. And are these resistance goons? What? Okay, alright. Let's go to the industrial complex. Why not? I don't see any reason not to do so. Neon lighting, invented by Tesla. You know what? We're going to finish this up in the next episode, so until then, all the best.